Hi everyone, I will be showing you how I make my jacket patches. I do make them detachable because so, sometimes I want to change it up. I have made two so far, my heart design and my skull designs with my tiger moths. I will be showing you how to cut or you can purchase these, um, where to get the pins, what I use to paint on them, if I sketch, all basically the whole rundown. So the materials you will need to do the patches will be a scissor, some sharp ones of course, pins to place them, a canvas material, I got this from Hobby Lobby, I get three different colors, fray stoppers, and a measuring tape just to measure out what sizing you want. Um, so this is basically the rundown things you're going to need. You can always add more things to it. Like I said, I got three colors. I got black, white, and red. Um, there is blue. There's different colors, grays. But I, these are the three colors I chose. The sizing that I have for these patches are custom to my fitting of my jacket. I believe they're 9 by 12. Since I have a pre-cut patch already all I have to do is follow the cuts around and it's very simple for me but if you didn't have a pre-cut patch all you have to do is measure the sizing that you want and make sure your lines are straight that's it really very easy and simple and with the sketching I use a light prisma color pencil just because the color pencil is very soft and I can see the sketches so to get more into detail of where I got the items to make my patches, I actually got everything at Hobby Lobby all at once. I got these scissors in the material aisle. I just chose some simple scissors, not too expensive. There was different ones like, so that way you have the perfect straight line and everything, but I just chose these ones. Then the pins as well, I got a pack of, I believe 100 and it came with different size ones. And I, in the same eye of the material, I got these material, they're called material canvas. Like the, the texture is just like a canvas that you would paint on that's pre-wrapped and everything, pre-stretched. And I got a couple yards so that way I have enough material to make a couple patches. Um, all in total, I think each bundle came out to 12, but I got a couple yards of it. And they do sell grays, blues, different colors, but I chose to go with the black, red, and white. Just simple to start off with. Like I said earlier, you can cut these patches to your custom size. My jacket, I make it fit my jacket, but if I was to make this for anybody else, I would see what's the framing on their bed because you don't want it to look very tiny and small that's why i said i customized it 9 by 12 on my back so with the paint that i use i just use acrylic paint i use all kinds of brands because i choose different colors that i like i know i've had my other two patches and the reason they've stayed on which is the paint is because like I made them detachable with the pins when I throw that jacket in the wash I don't throw my patches in the wash I will remove the patches because it doesn't get dirty honestly it doesn't I've had that white heart design for a while already and it hasn't gotten dirty like really you're not gonna be real unless you're rolling in dirt you know then I understand but I do believe if you wash it it's not gonna come off because I've had paint the acrylic paint get on my like leggings on my regular clothes and when i wash it that does not come out it is unless i sit there and scrub it i would not get that out so that's what i use to paint with so i think i got everything down if i missed anything or you have any more questions about these patches you can comment below and ask me and i will reply to you i hope you guys like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this I will see you in a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video.
Okay, so now that everything is done, you have you're gonna have these frays at the, at the end, like the edges of the material. So this is where the stops fraying on fabric. Um, so like a glue comes in handy. I bought this one from Walmart. It wasn't that expensive. I think the most it was three dollars, but there's another one that's a dollar, and it works just as good. Um, on this thing. It has like a, you slide the material between these two, um, between this device. So I'm going to cut, you want to cut every string that's kind of on the edges so that way you get a smooth look. So I'm just grabbing my scissors and I'm just running the scissors. Taking away all these strings. You can gesso these, this material, but for me, that's why I do that first layer of that tan to get a solid opaque color with the second coat. The first one I did it with the white, the heart one, since I couldn't gesso it, I just had to go straight with the white, with the outlining and everything. It was it took a couple more passes to get the white to where I wanted it to be. Okay. So now that all the strings are cut. Alrighty, so now that all the, uh, the strings are cut, we're going to grab this, open it, and it's very liquidy, so when you run it, you kind of want to have it at an angle, so that way it doesn't spill too much over. And then you're just going to want it, you're just going to want to give it some time to dry and settle. So all I'm doing is um, sticking the two, um, sticking the device into the fabric and then I'm gonna run I'm gonna run from top to bottom whatever way the seam like cuz you don't want to run it and then make more of the fray you want to gently um, do it so that way there's no more strings coming out and it prevents it you'll be able to see it come out just be want to be really gentle with it and make sure you coat a good amount on the edges If you put too much, that's fine. You can go with your fingers and just kind of smush it together. The good thing, I've actually tried this on my other ones and it doesn't fade the black. It doesn't change any colors. Um, I tried on my white one, my white canvas material, and it's the same thing. It doesn't change the color. Like, I was scared that it was gonna make it yellow or like make it look different on the edges than the rest of the material. But the good thing that that didn't happen. So I'm just sticking down the frayed edges, the ones I couldn't cut, just to make sure they get in there and they settle in there. So that side's done. I'm gonna speed through the rest just to show you how I do it. trying to show the actual art wasn't that good so I kind of wanted to come on here and show you what it looks like from up close and with a little bit better lighting Let's stand up a little bit more so I did place a metallic um, copper color around the edges I'm not sure if it's actually giving off here but it does this is basically the how everything came out. If you guys like it, 
and you want to see more of me making patches and how I do them or just speed time lapse, give it a thumbs up and comment below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!